Siamese cats are not to be messed with. But are they good pets? You'll know after watching this video. I'll cover all subjects from looks to cost. Siamese cats are amongst the oldest cat breeds. But where do they come from? Siamese cats are believed to have originated in Siam, today's Thailand, where they enjoyed a great reputation. They were popular pets for the royal family, but also for religious leaders. They were familiar sights in Buddhist temples for an intriguing reason. Siamese cats were considered sacred. Everybody thought they inherited the souls of people who passed away. As a result, they were treated like kings and queens. Siamese cats were praised and adored in their homeland. For this reason, they were rarely given to foreigners. But somehow, by the 1800s, they managed to make their way to England. The Siamese was greatly appreciated for its looks. In 1871, they participated in the first modern feline exhibition. This show took place right in London's Crystal Palace. Surprisingly, a journalist wrote afterward that Siamese cats are unnatural and a nightmare of a cat. Well, I think he was bribed by some other breeders into doing so, but let's move on. As did the British because the Siamese cat quickly became very popular. They were especially sought after because, back then, most of them had crossed eyes and twisted tails. I think these cute traits made the Siamese special. Sadly, they're considered faults nowadays. Siamese cats quickly conquered England. Thus, it was only a matter of time until they arrived in America. They made their way to America just a few years after the famous show, but in a very exquisite manner. The first Siamese imported to North America lived in the White House, as it was a gift to the First Lady, Lucy Hayes. After that, Siamese cats became incredibly popular in America. They participated in competitions, caused stirs at exhibitions, and became one of the most popular cat breeds. Not to mention they're probably the easiest breed to recognize. Siamese cats were praised for their looks and personality. They were used to create other breeds, amongst which we count Aussicat, Himalayas, Burmese, Tonkinese, and Oriental breeds. But Siamese cats were also used to enhance the Russian blue in America. Who would have thought? So what do Siamese cats look like? Siamese cats don't just come in one shape. That would be too mainstream for these majestic cats. They are indeed medium-sized cats, weighing from 8 to 15 pounds. However, there are two Siamese styles nowadays, the traditional style and the extreme one. They both share the same colorations. It's just their body that's different. The traditional style calls for a medium to robust build, pretty round head and wide-based ears that are big but not huge. The extreme conformation has a much slimmer and longer body an elongated head, huge ears set far apart, and a wedge-shaped head. Their face, seen from the front, looks like a perfect triangle. The tails of the extreme Siamese are super long and thin. These cats started to gain popularity in the 1950s. Until then, the regular-looking Siamese cats were more sought after. But now, cat associations very much favor the extreme style. So much that traditional style cats are not allowed to compete as Siamese cats. The good news? More and more cat associations are accepting traditional Siamese as Thai cats. Who knows, maybe in the future the wheel will turn, and these cats will once again be the preferred Siamese. But regardless of the style, the eye color will always be bright and intense blue. We talked a lot about their looks, and we didn't even cover it all. Siamese cats have a gorgeous coat coloration. Their fur is light-colored, being either white or cream with dark extremities. This particular type of coloration is known as points. The extremities can have multiple colors, but CFA only accepts the following seal, chocolate, lavender, and blue. Some of these are rare. But how does this gorgeous pointed pattern occur? Well, Siamese cats have inherited a peculiar gene. This gene makes their coat turn white in their body's warmer areas. It's a fascinating trait, one that surely deserves more attention. But don't worry, as I'll make a dedicated video on the topic. I'll also discuss the colors not always accepted in Siamese cats. Let's continue with the most exciting part, their great personality. Siamese cats have quite the character. They are intelligent, curious, playful, ambitious, confident, and extremely active. Gosh, so many traits! Siamese cats love their owners to pieces. 
They're very dependent on their people, much like toddlers. But they're also devoted companions, making bonds for life. They follow their owners everywhere and insist on taking part in any activity. They're also always on the lookout for a cuddle. Whatever you do, be sure to have a reliable spectator. Let's say you cooked something, but your recipe didn't come out. Your Siamese will be right next to you, paying close attention and afterwards spreading the word. Going to the bathroom or taking a shower will be a struggle to do without your Siamese. No more quiet evenings spent watching your favorite TV shows. Instead of sitting comfortably on the couch and turning on the TV, you'll be forced to have long conversations with your Siamese. Siamese cats are very talkative and need lots of communication. They love it when you talk back to them. However, if you don't answer, Siamese cats are very happy to do a monologue. Willingly or unwillingly, you'll have to listen. There's no exaggeration, these cats are terrific meowers. You'll have to seriously ask yourself, can you cope with such a noisy cat? And if you think their meows are cute, think again. Siamese cats are gifted with a voice that can wake the dead. Be sure your neighbors will know you have a cat. Their meow is low-pitched and sounds like a rasp. For this reason, they're affectionately called measers. Did I mention their intelligence? Well, they are so smart, they need mental stimulation all the time. But this is a good thing, as they are willing to learn tricks such as sit, come, or high-five. Unfortunately, without proper affection and activity, Siamese cats will become depressive and destructive. This is not a cat for people working full-time jobs. Leaving Siamese cats alone every day for so many hours will definitely make your cat suffer. How do Siamese cats get along with other cats? They tend to get along with other cats, especially if the other cat is active. Siamese cats long for company, so another cat will surely help a lonely Siamese. But you should get a cat that matches the personality of the Siamese. This might be difficult to do, so it's best to get two Siamese cats instead of one. Siblings have a special connection that lasts a lifetime. Unfortunately, some Siamese cats can get territorial if introduced to cats later on. Still, it's your job to make an appropriate introduction. How do Siamese cats get along with dogs or children? They tend to get along well with dogs. If the two of them grow up together, they'll probably be best buddies. If not, the relationship can still work. Ensure the dog is well-behaved and teach him how to interact with a cat. But never get a dog with a strong hunting instinct. As far as children are involved, a Siamese will do just fine with older children that are mindful when interacting with the Siamese. They can be patient even with toddlers, but some of them aren't. Make sure to supervise small kids playing with cats and teach them how to do it respectfully. And how active are Siamese cats? Very active, almost as active as Bengals. They're also extremely playful. If you get a Siamese, it'll be just like having an overly active kid. They enjoy playing with their owners with feathers and balls. However, these games are not enough to feed their hunger for mental activity. You'll need to get them some puzzle games such as treat mazes. Hunting boxes and other interactive toys are great ideas too. Siamese cats often like to play hide-and-seek with their family members. They like to sit somewhere high up just to pounce on anyone who passes. What's the perfect environment for them? Besides the toys mentioned earlier, a Siamese will need enough space to run around. This breed loves to climb, so cat trees and tall shelves are a must. Are they indoor or outdoor cats? Well, they are typically outgoing and excellent hunters. When attacked, most will fiercely defend themselves. However, I think cats should never be allowed outside on their own. There are various dangers they can encounter, but they also pose a significant threat to wildlife. As the Siamese usually loves the outdoors, the best idea would be to build a safe cat enclosure. What are the most common health concerns associated with Siamese cats? Siamese cats' health issues vary, depending on the country and region they're in. That's because Siamese cats are widely spread, but usually they have few health issues. Some of them inherit a liver condition that can cause liver failure. Others inherit a heart issue that causes decreased heart function. Additionally, some Siamese cats are prone to tartar formation and gingivitis. But the best way to find the potential health problems of your future cat is to ask the breeder. What are their grooming needs? 
Their coat is fine and short, so brushing your cat once a week will be more than enough. Other than this, make sure to brush your cat's teeth to prevent dental problems and, of course, clip their nails and clean their ears. Basically, Siamese cats require minimal grooming. How long do Siamese cats live? Once again, the average life expectancy varies between countries, but it's usually 15 years. It's also not uncommon for them to reach the age of 20, and some can even live up to 30 years, as did Scooter. And now, the crucial question, how much do Siamese cats cost? Kittens from reputable breeders typically cost between $400 to $1,000, but can even be more expensive at around $1,500. Adult Siamese cats are more costly than kittens, the price for them being up to $2,000 and more. But even if you can't afford a Siamese cat, you can still get one. Siamese cats are so popular, you can easily find them at local shelters. People often buy them only to realize it wasn't a good idea to get a loud cat and dump them to fend for themselves. So if you want a Siamese cat, I would suggest checking your local shelters first. If you do, you're basically becoming that cat's hero and parent, and you'll be paying a lot less. But wrapping it up, Siamese cats are confident, loyal, and noisy cats. They're definitely not for people wanting a quiet, laid-back companion. If you're interested in this breed, but not sure it's right for you, consider subscribing. I'll be posting more videos about them that will surely help. Thanks for watching, and see you in my next video!